My advice to people who want to change the status quo is to not ask for permission. When it comes to black migrants, the system is rooted in anti-black racism. Asian American issues are American issues. If you want to change the laws, you must change the lawmakers. Who is still unseen and unheard in this democracy? You know November is coming, right? Don't wait. Start. I am proud to bring what I think is a unique perspective to all the deliberations of the Senate as the first Latino to represent the state of California. One of the first Korean American women to serve in Congress. A leading member of Congress. I'm the Beyonce of abortion storytelling. Founder and CEO of Translash Media. I stand on the shoulders of women who are themselves descendants of immigrants. We're in good trouble because if we don't, then who? I have the dream that we could fix immigration reform and it should be coming from the GOP. I know my people very well and my bill, the Dignity Act, is sort of the invitation letter to join us. We want them to feel that they can live a dignified life, not have to live in the shadows. We are going to continue to change the face of democracy in this country to make sure that the Black community is reflected. The work of the Collective Pact is going to greatly impact this year's election. We're going to have Two black women in the U.S. Senate, which we currently don't have any. We're going to have a black woman serving in a governor's mansion pretty soon. Stacey Abrams in Georgia. But listen, Deidre DeGier in Iowa. Mia McLeod in South Carolina. I mean, one of these ladies is definitely going to win in November. I'm so sure. We are creating the newsroom that, frankly, a lot of us wish that we'd had earlier in our careers. Political journalism, frankly, was still too white and too male. It's been like that for too long, and we wanted to do something about it. You know, women are half the electorate, and yet we are still talked about as a special interest group when it comes to political journalism, and we felt like that was wrong. I think that my work will reframe the nationalization of issues around gender identity. It looks as if it's an accident, but there's nothing that's grassroots about it. And I think that voters need to understand who's pushing certain issues, how they're being funded, and why they're being funded. The Haitian Bridge Alliance is working really, really hard to change the immigration system in the United States. In September 2021 was really a final way for people to see what we have been telling them, that Black migrants do exist. We want to make sure that what we saw under the bridge never happens again. And we have over 80 current elected officials of Haitian descent who are local and federal. How will this power dynamic change the faces of America? The issues that we all care about, doesn't matter what ethnic background that you come from, the economic opportunities, the educational opportunities. But again, as an immigrant, I would like to focus on bringing about some meaningful immigration reform. People come up to me and they say, I like your shirt. I had an abortion too. And that's really what it's for. I really sought to change the station of people who have abortions in this country, that we are not a political football. We should not be shamed. There is a desire to whitewash American history. There's a desire to, again, not be truthful and honest about the harm that is caused by our current political economy. I knew firsthand that the problems that we are facing, working families in particular, but also people of color, are because of broken systems. We're not willing to say fundamentally that everyone in this country is equal and counts through their votes. Then what does America stand for? We know voting rights are under attack, and it's only when we maintain the security of our elections, but make it easier for eligible people to register and actually cast their ballots, that the outcomes will truly reflect the will of the people. One big challenge I really think that impacts race and, and politics is, is misinformation. The sooner that we get to a place where we are honest about the world as it is, then we can begin to fight and build for the world as it should be. Be bold, 
don't be shy. Create, create, create. Share your story, speak out about it. And if the table doesn't serve the people, it is time to flip that table.